YouTube. I'm Valeria. I'm Maggie. I'm Anita, and you're watching Life of a PT Student. So for musculoskeletal, we've been going over imaging and just going over digital films, uh, plain films, how to interpret the radiographs based on the densities. So bone, metal, there, there will be more opaque, wider on the radiograph. Stuff like air and fat will be more lucent, more black on the radiograph. We went over uh, computed tomography, CT, MRI to look for tumors, different views, T1, T2, fluoroscopy used for uh, real-time imaging for surgery and uh, bone scans which are used to see uh, bone diseases and the different radiographic views include AP anterior posterior, PA posterior anterior, lateral, oblique which means at a 45 degree angle, axial from top down or down to top. Having all those different views we've also learned how to uh, determine which view is best to see certain diagnoses including fractures, lesions, and much more. And for pediatrics, we've been learning about the NICU, neonatal intensive care unit, and which cares for uh, premature babies, preemies. We've been learning how to um, take care of those babies using like bendy bumpers to make sure they're in the correct position to help with their normal development. Uh, also learning how to swaddle, wrap the baby around in a blanket, different ways to help calm the baby, comfort the baby. And for physical agents, we've been just running through modalities, starting with the uh, paraffin wax treatment, where you dip your hands in warm wax, and it helps soothe and ease pain or stiffness associated with osteoarthritis. Come out with a layer of wax on your hands, and you leave it on for about 10 minutes, and you can even take it off and put it back in the tub uh, to reuse. Next, we have EMG, which uses biofeedback to increase muscle activity for muscle strengthening or to help decrease muscle activity to help relax your muscles. And all this can be used for postural training or muscle re-education. Next we have laser, which is a form of light therapy and it's mainly used for pain control. And then diathermy, which uses electromagnetic energy to produce heat. It also helps with healing, with pain or edema control, helps with range of motion as well. Classes, school, definitely gets stressful sometimes and I'm just glad to have classmates, friends to help me get through it, push through when things get kind of tough. Whenever I get a chance to hang out with them outside of class, it's always a lot of fun. And even just like grabbing breakfast with Manny, food definitely makes me happy. Uh, recently we went to Valeria's birthday party. It just brought back memories to like middle school, high school days where we went to each other's house, friend's house to um, have a birthday party. We ate great food and uh, we played water balloon fights, a slip and slide. I feel so alive. I've never felt this way before. Must be you and I It's got me thinking about us more It's these bright lights They put me in a daze And I can't stop but think about the way that you I'm not really into any TV shows I actually like watching reality TV Like Bachelorette I know it's pretty weird but I don't know I just find it pretty entertaining And even on YouTube I like to watch other people's vlogs And so recently I went to Kim's place to watch The Bachelorette with Lauren, Kim, Marianne, Matt, and Jake. We had a lot of fun just watching and hanging out. We had a white coat ceremony for the PT1s. So as a PT2, as a mentor, I get an opportunity to coat my mentee. <laughs> quick shout outs. Um, shout out to Ryan for helping me film some of those clips you guys saw earlier and shout out to George. His birthday is coming up this Saturday and Kim's birthday is Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.